When you watch water being poured, it sure looks like the water is a continuous substance. But in fact, if you could magnify it bigger and bigger and bigger, even more than a microscope can do, you would see that water, like all things, is made of tiny pieces called atoms. You've probably heard water called H2O. That's a name that describes the atoms that make up one little bit of water. Water is made up of three atoms. One of those atoms is an oxygen atom, thus the O. Two of those atoms are hydrogen atoms, thus the H2. When atoms join together to form a unit, that unit is called a molecule. So we have here three atoms, two hydrogens and one oxygen. When they link up, like you see in this model, they form one molecule of water. Now keep in mind, these atoms and molecules are really small. Look at the period at the end of a sentence in this book. It would take 10 million hydrogen atoms lined up next to each other to stretch from one side of the period to the other. All matter, all the stuff around you that has mass and takes up space, is made of atoms and molecules. Some things, like this shiny piece of pure copper, are made of just one type of atom, in this case, copper atoms. Other things, like water, are made up of groups of atoms, in this case, water molecules. Both atoms and molecules can be called particles. So you can say that all matter is made up of particles. There's a lot more to learn about atoms and molecules. They are the basis of the entire science of chemistry. For the purpose of this unit, however, all you need to know is that matter is made up of particles, either individual atoms or groups of atoms called molecules. We're going to find out more about how those particles cause all kinds of things that you've seen happen in everyday life.